guys, good evening. So, tonight, what we are going to cook is um, our very own Lauya from Ilocos. Um, but tonight, it's a bit different. As you guys know, I always make things different than what I'm cooking. So, uh, there's a special ingredient for today's Lauya or tonight's Lauya because it's going to be dinner. But let me introduce you first the main ingredient. So, we have here our garlic. This is one whole garlic. I have one large wa white onion. I got four pieces tomatoes. Uh, two large potatoes because we love potato, of course. We have cabbage. That's just half of the whole cabbage. We got here half kilo of casim or liempo. And then we have here the taste ingredients or something to make it tastier we have whole peppercorn laurel leaves we have ground pepper we have salt this is optional it's pork cubes you can add that or not we have patties as well and this is what make it different i'm gonna be adding chicken uh because you know i have someone in the house that does not eat pork and I need to recreate it with chicken. So I'm going to be adding chicken on the dish. But I'm going to make sure that it's not going to be um, malansa or something. Okay, there's a procedure that I'm going to be doing later on. So that the chicken won't affect the taste of the soup. Okay, so let's get started. Alright guys, so the first step will be adding the pork. And uh, this is the traditional way of cooking it as well. Some saute it. Some, you know, alam, let water to boil first and then add the pork in this process we're going to remove the oil out from the pork so we are adding already the chunks of pork and we're going to juice out its own oil all right the thing here is that the thing here is that we are already going to be adding the garlic again this is the traditional way or ilocano way of cooking it a lot of people or i mean a lot of filipinos cook it on a different way but again i'm gonna be cooking it in the traditional way and we will cover this for two minutes the fire should not be that high or else it's going to burn but it's just going to be in a medium heat and i'll cover this for two minutes Okay guys, so after 2 minutes, we have to flip this over, so the other side gets to produce its own oil. We are achieving a golden brown look of the pork here, that's when we know that it's already frying itself. Alright guys, so, oh, two minutes. After two minutes, we can definitely go ahead and flip it over already. So, okay, I'm going to use the spatula. So, I can flip them on it. So, if you guys can see, some of the parts of the floor are turning brown already. That's what you want to see. And some of the garlic are sticking in the pan already. We just have to keep from the smoke. You can already add the onion. It's important that onion and garlic is a part of the sauteing process. Uh, next, we will be adding our tomato oil. Let's do this here. Okay. Next way. Make sure that this is not going to be in a uh, high fire. It should just be medium fire. Alright. We want to juice it out and not burn it. So, we cover this for five minutes and by the way 
And by the way, guys, I've mentioned earlier that I'll be adding chicken, which is very unusual with the traditional loya. What I'm going to do to remove the fishy smell or something that's not going to complement the soup is I'm gonna fry the chicken, but not really deep fried. I just want to make um, the outer layer crisp, not so crispy. I just want to make sure na it's not gonna be producing liquid when we put it there. So let me go ahead and start frying it. All right, guys. So I already put um, two tablespoons of oil. Make sure that the pan, pan is hot enough to accommodate the crisp. Just gonna be putting the chicken one by one. Alright, so guys, don't be, um, don't worry if it's gonna um, uh, be burnt or something. The pan is full, it reduces the temperature of the oil, so it's going to be moderately done. And of course, it's going to be done in a medium heat as well. And I'm going to be covering that to lock the temperature. Alright, so after 5 minutes, it should look like this already. So, it has to be two and the oil of the pork is already juicing out and that's the reason why that we normally has red soup it's because of the tomato from here we can already add some of the ingredients but not all so we're going to be adding the peppercorn the ground pepper don't add the salt yet because it affects the tendering process of the pork. If you will add the salt too soon, you're going to have a hard time achieving the tender tenderness that you desire for the pork. So let's just put the spice first. Let this simmer for 5 minutes in a high fire already. In the meantime, let's go ahead and check our chicken already. So as what I mentioned earlier, it's not going to get burned because the temperature of the oil is mm, colder than the boiling oil or the temperature that we use for frying. So you guys don't have to worry. You just have to flip it. And if you guys see the oil is doubling its amount, it is coming from the skin of the chicken. So this is a healthy process as well to drain out the oil of the chicken. We will just cook this for additional uh, 3 minutes for each side and we should be all done. Alright, let me cover it first. Alright guys, so I'm sorry, I needed to... Um, I needed to transfer it in a larger pot. I realized the pot won't be enough because I'm about to put the soup or the water and it's not going to be sufficient. So I needed to transfer it in a larger pot. Before I do that, I'm going to be adding another ingredient which is our dahon ng laurel or laurel leaves in English. I'm just going to mix that one more time. Then I'm going to be adding 1 liter of water. Then cover it. Let it boil for 13 minutes. And now it's time to check our chicken. the desired look
And this should be it. I'm gonna be removing that already from the pot. I'm gonna strain the oil. And as soon as the soup is almost done, I'm gonna be adding the chicken. They are steamy. Okay guys, so after 30 minutes, actually it's 40 minutes, right, of um, letting it boil, I'm gonna check if the pork is already tender. Okay. Oh, yes. Hindi ko pa to shadong pinusha. So, yeah, it's so completely tender already, so we can add the extra seasoning. First is our cubes pork cubes. Second is our patis. And last is our salt. So let's just mix it. Right now, we're going to be adding our potatoes already. And then we're going to be adding the chicken as well. Already. And let this boil for another five minutes I'm gonna cover it for five minutes all right guys so after five minutes okay so the potato and the chicken is already tender so we're gonna be adding our last ingredient and that's going to be the cabbage Let's just mix it. Then I will be covering this for four minutes, for four minutes, and then we should be all done. All right, guys. So after five minutes, it should be all done. All right. So let's just give it a final mix. And there. We should be all set. I'm gonna serve this already. Pause. All right, guys. All right, guys. So here you go. This is now our traditional Luya Ilocano version with a twist. So I would like to emphasize that it has chicken in it, and that soup is really very tasty as of the moment. So thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel for new um, cooking tutorials. Thank you.